Hey guys, this is Korup from Edureka. Welcome to today's session on how to become an app developer. Now, before we get to the topic at hand, let's just go through today's agenda. The first thing we talk about is why become an app developer, followed by who is an app developer, how to become an app developer, and finally, we talk about roles and responsibilities as well as how to start being an app developer. Also, if you like our videos, please do subscribe to the Edureka channel. And if you're looking for an Android development or an iOS development certification, please check the link in the comments below. So why become an app developer? So if you're looking for the job front, the job opportunities on an app developer are a plenty. In India, you have over 40,000 vacant jobs, whereas in the US, there are over 42,000 vacant jobs as app developers. So there is a dire need for app developers right now in the market. And this is basically through LinkedIn, Glassdoor and other such websites that you have. So talking about job opportunities for app developers, if you're in India and you want to become an app developer, Bangalore is the IT hub of India and there are around 6,000 plus vacant jobs there. And if you're looking to basically get a job in the US, with California being the IT hub of the US has around 4,000 plus vacant jobs for app development. Whereas you can see in India, you get around 7 lakh rupees per year as an app developer. And in the US, it is around $93,283 per year as an app developer. So the salaries are pretty decent. And the companies hiring app developers are a lot. So some of the major and big companies hiring for app developers are IBM, Apple, TCS, Accenture, Oracle, Publicis, Sapient, United. United Airlines, Amazon, etc. And next we come to who is an app developer. So an app developer is somebody who is a software engineer who is responsible for creating testing programs and updating those programs regularly. For example, if you create an app for a mobile or a web application, you'll have to maintain those apps. App developers also have to be very sound when it comes to using Android Studio, XML and have to have concepts of all that. Apart from that, they will have to have basic concepts of database and other such frameworks that can be used for online applications or mobile applications and web apps. So application developers basically, they typically specialize on one area of development. So basically, like if you are a mobile app developer, you will specialize on Android Studio and that is your forte, that is what you will be working on. And if you are a web app developer, it's something different. You have to know PHP. You have to integrate that with HTML, front end, back end, and all of that has to happen. So you'll have to have an expertise in another domain as well. So an app developer is somebody who plans and creates a program, then checks the program for bugs continuously for, and then updates it based on client requirements. And finally, is responsible to maintain the health of the app. So how does an app developer help the organization? Now, the best part is that the app developer is the most crucial part of the development team and he helps create and maintain these apps. And the app developer is also responsible for regular updates of the app according to client's need. So you'll have to continuously update the app that you've made according to your client's needs. And the app developer is also responsible for carrying out various test cases till the final product is developed. This is a very time taking process of debugging so that the client has no complaints when the final product is delivered. And that is what the objective of an app developer is in the industry. Next we come to how to become an app developer. Now how to become an app developer? So basically there are many app development jobs. So one of the companies hiring for app developers is Redbus. Redbus requires you to basically have some experience in Android development with Android Studio and XML and you will have to have basic knowledge and proficiency in Java, Kotlin programming and you'll have to have proper experience with unit testing, code reviewing, tracking etc as well and it is feasible if you have a computer engineering degree or an electrical engineering degree. And as for the skills required, you need Java, C++, Android Studio, XML, HTML, CSS and the basic SDLC concepts so that you understand the entire process of app development. Coming to the next one, we have IBM. So IBM looking for people who have some knowledge in the Android SDK and RESTful APIs as well that connect to Android. And you will have to have some knowledge on the open source Android ecosystem. So you'll have to have some idea of what libraries are available and all that. 
So the basic knowledge that you need to have is Java, C, C++, Android Studio, HTML and also the SDLC concepts because you are part of the development team. So there are various skills required for app development. First, you need to have programming concepts on Java, C Sharp, Python, etc. You will have to have some idea of the SDLC methodologies like waterfall model, agile map model and all of that. You will have to have high analytical skills and you will have to be good with working under pressure apart from having statistical knowledge and management skills. So it is ex extremely important to have project management skills because each separate team is present in the development process and all of them need to work in tandem to achieve business goals and to finish the entire product on time. Apart from that, you will have to have Scrum management and you'll have to know app development tools such as Android Studio and Native Script. So if you understand the trends of app development right now, there are many. So right now, it's all about machine learning and AI app development, which is a huge step because AI is currently dominating the world with it is phasing into every aspect of the world right now. AI and machine learning, it is a hot topic right now. And then we come to mobile commerce app development. Now that is another thing, which is e-commerce. And if you basically see nowadays, e-commerce is everything right now. All the things that you need is just a click away from your phone. Next, we see that this a wearable app integration is also coming in. Now, wearable app integration is all about those smart watches that you wear and, you know, Fitbits that you wear and go out for jogging and all that. Those are apps integrated into your watch and that is how they work. So, this is a huge trend right now. Then there is the IoT app development. IoT is Internet of Things. So, there are app development based on Raspberry Pis or Arduinos and they help in basically a lot of things such as robotic arms, etc. And then you'll have chatbot development for apps. So, have chatbots that you can create and these chatbots can be created using AI or certain other basic apps for the website itself. And finally, there is the blockchain app development. Now, blockchain is something which is very popular right now with the emergence of cryptocurrency. And due to the extreme security that blockchain provides, there is a huge demand for blockchain app development. And then finally, you need to know the tools that are required to be a, become an app developer. You have to have basic knowledge of Build Fire, Android Studio, Native Script, Xamarin, Salesforce Flash, Salesforce One, and Corona Labs. So these are the basic tools you need to know. Then we come to the roles and responsibilities of an app developer. So the app developer takes the requirements from the client for the app to be built. So that is extremely important and develops a plan uh, based on the client requirements that are there. After that happens, they create or develop the app and make various test cases for it. So there can be the best possible version of the app. Now keep testing to get best results and the app is completely debugged. So there has to be a certain level of debugging that is going on when you're creating the app. And finally, regularly update and maintain the app for better user experience. So that is all the responsibilities of an app developer. And finally, we come to how to start being an app developer. Now, basically, if you want to be an app developer, you can check out the Eureka's YouTube channel and the Eureka blogs that are present. Also, if you're looking for certification on app development in Android or iOS app development, you can check out certification that is provided by Edureka. With that, I thank you and I end today's session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment it and you can comment and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!